Hi guys and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Now today I'm pretty sure you can guess I am building a kelp farm. Now this thing I'm calling a simple and cheap kelp farm because I've seen a lot of designs, it takes a lot of hoppers and all that sort of stuff. So let me talk through what we've got first, shall we? Excuse the, the villagers, they're, they're making a racket, my apologies. Right, so this farm I say is cheap because if you don't add this down the bottom, the smoker setup, you can literally get away with two chests and nine hoppers as the main part you build. That's all like how iron how, how iron heavy it's going to be. It's not expensive at all to build. Um, instead of having full glass out the front here, we've got glass panes because simply it takes away the water source. And as you can see, everything just drops down. Now, I'm going to show you how to build this thing. I'm only going to show you the single layer. And then I'll show you the trick with the water. And of course, keeping your redstone dry is very important as well. So, what we're going to need is... I don't really need this. Don't need that. So, we get rid of that. We need eight, hop uh, eight observers. We need a couple of stacks of building blocks. Half a stack of stained glass. Any kind of stained glass, if you want to use whatever, that's fine. An infinite water source, a couple of chests, a f nine hoppers, as I stated before, and your kelp. And we're also going to need a few pistons and some redstone dust, which I forgot. You need eight and eight of those as well, and that shows how well prepped I am for today. So, uh, we're also going to need some, uh, of course, grass blocks, or dirt, or gravel, or sand, or whatever you want to grow the kelp on. So... Again, I only need eight of those. So let's get into building this thing. Now, the way I'm going to build this, I'm actually going to sink it into the ground for you guys. I'm only going to build a single level. So we've got two chests in the ground. We've got nine hoppers. One. Hello. Can I place? Yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, the reason we have nine... Can I game thank you very much let me place my hoppers please mate i don't like not placing my hoppers in there we go nice nice the reason we need nine hoppers guys is because obviously the last hopper has a glass cover or a block cover over it doesn't matter what the block is it just needs a cover and then we want a couple of blocks on the reverse side and then we get our actual building blocks out it doesn't matter these can be building blocks as well they don't have to be glass and then you put in that like that. That's completely wrong. Completely, completely, completely wrong. Teddy's being silly and building his own tutorial wrong because he can't build it. There we go. That right there, guys, is where you are going to sit your first row of kelp. Okay, guys. So one thing that's really important here is you have to have the glass panes over this. But you have to make sure the glass panes don't get flooded. Very important. Now, you can put your first layer of water in straight away. That can go there. And then we can start by putting in our pistons and our observers. So we'll throw our pistons in like so. Very simple setup with these guys. Row of blocks on the back of your pistons. And then you want your observers facing the other way. Row of redstone dust out the back like so. And then again, whatever block you want to use guys. I'm just going to do this just to show it up a little bit better like so. And that is your basic setup. Okay, so we're going to go one more on either side. Now, we're going to also have a little reservoir around the back of our observers, like so. As I said, I'm only going to show you the one build, one layer build, because we don't need to see one that. If you want to build it up, obviously I can explain how you do the top half as well. And once you get to the top. So what we're going to do now, you build your sides up to the same height as the rest of your build. And the next bit's very important. You need to have solid blocks. Just temporarily. In place of your glass planes. Glass panes, not planes. So we do this. Because then we need, then need to fill out the rest of water. Like so. And then we fill the back row with got water, not the front row. The front row is wrong. We want the back row filled out with water, like so. And then we very quickly, let me just do it this way, this way is a bit easier. Like so, we pop in all of our 
glass panes replacing the water so make sure you do this quickly if you haven't got torches or if you have got torches down it's very important to do this quickly and that guys is basically your farm done that's that's it you throw your kelp in just like so and as you let it grow it comes out it pops, pops off the kelp and because you've got the row of water over the top all this is source block below but because you've got the layer of water above then it flows forwards into the glass panes and pushes all the kelp down and as you guys can see the kelp all ends up in our hopper now i've had this little thing running for a little while i've added on the smoker setup and yeah we've got two and a half stacks in here already guys and i've only got 16 plants growing on this one now as you can see i've got the water running across the top but everything below it has to be water sources everything so the best way of dealing with this guys is when you get to the top part you grab yourself some slabs where are my slabbies any old slabs will do and you pop your slabs on the top half of this block here because it won't break your water source below and then once you finish you pull it out again and that you can do stage this up as many times as you want guys you can make it as long as you want it really doesn't matter it can be 8 wide it can be 32 wide it can be 64 wide it can be as big as you want it to be as long as it's in a loaded area and it works within the loaded chunks it's fine but yeah this thing just pushes out kelp like there's no tomorrow this thing it's not quite fast enough with 16 to keep up with this you know I have put 64 in each there and I've only got you know less than three stacks but if I was to expand this and make it like 16 across and four high then that wouldn't be able to keep up a two a two smoker system wouldn't keep up but I just put this in for demo purposes because it's an unlimited fuel source at the end of the day guys you fill this up once with fuel and you get instant fuel back and it's never going to run out so it is fantastic and as i said if you just want the kelp this one where it goes straight into a chest it's probably for you but if you want to do it where you got into the smokers or furnaces or whatever then this way would work really well for you guys as well and as i said it's completely tileable not only horizontally but vertically it's tileable so thank you very much for watching guys that is the farm done and I hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you really loved it, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>